Well, a very good morning to you from all of us here at RT Moscow, where it's now uh, just after 8 a.m. I'm Rory Suchet with you today and straight to our breaking news for you this hour here on RT. An unmanned Russian space rocket has uh, crashed to Earth just a minute after launch. It was carrying three satellites meant for Russia's GLONASS global navigation system. RT Tabang Motse now brings us the, the details here live on the program. Uh, good morning to you, Tabang. Uh, so, uh, what happened? Well, you know, Rory, I think it was a quite a shocking morning for those at uh, Baikonur Cosmodrome. As you can see here, that Proto, uh, Proton M, uh, which was carrying three navigation satellites out to orbit, just decided that today was not going to be the day. It spiraled out of control, disintegrated as you can see right now off the camera there, and then it, it literally disintegrated, going splitting into all kinds of places and then dropping off within that inhabited space at the Cosmodrome. Now, of course, we've heard sources saying that, uh, you, you know, this is, not, this is not the best thing that could happen to this right now. This is a radioactive uh, satellite. There's people who live around well, I mean, that, that area. I mean, Tammy, that's so, just it. I mean, that's just it. You talk, you talk about the environmental impact. This absolutely. rocket here, just a couple of seconds into launch, exploding just a few seconds into launch, you would imagine it's been absolutely filled to the brim with, with rocket oh, fuel. Absolutely. Rory, I mean, this is what's getting authorities quite worried out there, is that this disintegrating, dropping in the middle of an inhabited area could bring a lot of uh, trouble. They're thinking of now evacuating that area. Now, I've been there to Baikonur myself. You've been there to Baikonur. You know how uh, it's such a small town, but with, with such a small group of people within one area and so much fuel, radioactive, no one knows what could come out of this. So it's very important yeah. that they start getting people out as well, soon I mean, as Tabby, possible. The good thing, is, I mean, the good thing is, you talk about you talk about Baikonur being a small town. The good thing is the launch pad is, is a long it is a drive little bit far out of the town. Out. It is a little bit far um, out. However, and they have got they have got very very good emergency systems in place at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. But the sad news is, Tabby, this isn't exactly the first time it's, it's not, happened. You know what, Rory? Every time you, anybody hears of anything in terms of space and exploration or anything going out to orbit, we get excited. But what we don't really understand is that there's so much that goes into these kind of machines. Uh, I mean, we're talking not only fuel, we're talking engineering. And uh, this sort of accident happened back in 2010. Once more, these three uh, uh, set navigating satellites going up to orbit and then disintegrating into the Pacific Ocean. Now, they're saying that sources tell us it could be because of engineering problem. Uh, they need to look a little bit more in terms yeah, of how they can... Days. Absolutely. So right now, I think the emergency bid right now is to make sure that the inhabitants in that area are safe, particularly because of what those uh, uh, that uh, that machine actually contains. God, I mean, startling footage we're seeing here, Tabby. The Baikonur Cosmodrome, Kazakhstan here, just a couple of seconds in the liftoff. Our breaking news here, uh, the Russian uh, rocket here exploding just in the first few seconds of launch. What about, uh, what about accountability, Tabby? Uh, who's going to be held to account for this? Eh? You know what, Rory? The Russian space agency has been changing over the last couple of months. Uh, we've seen resignations. We've seen people being fired because there seems to be a, a, a new restructuring of the agency. So many projects are coming up and so many people rely on the Russian space agency in terms of going out into orbit or to the ISS. So it's really important that they get this in, in control. It's really important that they assure everyone who uses the Baikonur Cosmodrome at the moment to say, Things happen. We didn't, this is not what we wanted, but this is the morning that we had. We need to get to the bottom of this. If it's an engineering problem, we need to get better engineers coming in. We need to look at how we're going to get uh, uh, some of this equipment out into orbit. Uh, but, so I, there's going to be lots of questions being asked. So there's going to be absolutely yeah. somebody, something needs to be, someone or something needs to be accountable of what just happened Well, I mean, today. obviously, Tavi, the investigation will already have begun. This is our breaking yeah. news this morning. Uh, Bad news for Baikonur, this, uh, this rocket up to, uh, up to space with three GLONASS satellites exploding a couple of seconds into launch. Artis Debang Motse on this breaking news this morning. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. <laughs>